a little bit warmer today than what we saw on Wednesday and the temperature is already reaching 30 degrees Celsius for some parts of Northeast Ontario. And the only active weather based on the satellite map from 8 o'clock this morning, towering cumulus clouds for the Capus Gasing area. The, air, the airport at Capus Gasing reported some clouds towering building up a little bit towards the north and east that has since dissipated just before a 12 o'clock lunch hour. In fact, some cloud cover is just bordering areas north and parallel to Highway 11. A U-shaped pattern with this trough of low pressure over northwest Ontario connected with the low spinning backwards over Wisconsin and Minnesota stateside that is helping to pump in the southwest breeze and the incredibly warm temperatures that are infiltrating northeast Ontario. The one o'clock shot shows that this band of cloud cover is trying to move ever so slowly towards the Great Lakes, south of Lakes Michigan and Superior stateside. And a band of cloud that was parallel to Highway 11 is now pushing northeast toward, towards James and Hudson Bay. My new segment coming up after this is the Low Level Winds Report. The real-time wind segment, this shows you not the systems, but the wind and the energy with the jet stream, as well as our weather systems across North America. Just a quick overview of what's going on with our southwest winds, with our warm, humid conditions across Northeast Ontario. There's that low pressure that we talked about on the satellite map, with that backwards wind flow, helping to generate the southwest wind flow. This is the starting point of the jet stream that's going across Northeast Ontario, with the winds north of the Laurentians, connecting with this very strong spin of low pressure. This low pressure system here was over northeast Ontario oh, about four or five days ago, slowly drifted eastward to locate or to be located rather right over the Labrador Sea. And you can see with the arrows and the movement, this is the jet stream right over here. And that's why you can imagine that the southwest winds that we have today is all thanks to system number one over the Labrador Sea and system number two right over Minneapolis, Minnesota. In due time, I will show you more wonderful features as technology evolves. And for now, I'll leave you with my info pages for this morning's observations.